Do you have five minutes? Because if you do, I could take your tension headache from this uh, to this. Ah. Let me show you how right now. What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, ToneItalian.com, and today we're talking all about tension headaches. Specifically, I wanted to share four of the best exercises that will help you to eliminate your tension headache in five minutes or less. Now, before we get too far down that road, before we jump into those exercises, let's talk really quickly, what is a tension headache? That is a headache in your head that comes from tension in another part of your body. Most often it's the neck, it's the base of your skull. Those are the types of headaches that we're talking about. If you're looking for help with your migraines or your cluster headaches, these might not be the best solution for you. But if you know, wow, I've got a lot of tension in my neck, I've got a lot of tightness at the base of my head, these are the exercises that can help you out of those. Now, why do you get these tension headaches? Basically, anything that causes increased tension in your neck can lead to those headaches. It's important that we know why we get them so that we can understand how to eliminate them. Basically, you've got two main groups of muscles in your neck. You've got large postural muscles, and then you've got the smaller kind of fine-tuned, fine motor muscles. When those small kind of fine motor muscles get under increased stress, i.e. they have to shoulder a lot of the postural load, that's what can cause increased tension. That's what can ultimately lead to these tension headaches. Now, this is something that I'm actually seeing a lot more of as a physical therapist. People are spending a lot more time on their computers, uh, oftentimes with poor posture. If it's a laptop, your gaze is directed down, your posture tends to suffer because of that. People are spending more time on their phones. Again, the gaze directed down puts more stress, stress on the neck, on the base of the skull, and um, even just stress. If you tend to carry stress in your neck and shoulders, can increase tension in that spot. And so those are all things that we need to be mindful of. Those are things that we need to treat and fix if we're going to ultimately eliminate that headache pain. All right, so we know what it is. We know why we get it. Let's get to the reason why you clicked on this video. Let me show you four of my favorite exercises that you can do right at home. It's only gonna take us about five minutes to get through that are going to help you to eliminate the tension in your neck and improve the strength in your postural muscles to eliminate that headache that you're experiencing. The first exercise that I wanna to get to, it's one of my favorites, it's a chin tuck. Basically, we're gonna introduce upper cervical flexion to eliminate a lot of tension in the base of your skull. I always teach this one first uh, laying down. You can also do it sitting up if that's more convenient. Um, I tell people back up with your back against the wall, that's an easy way to do it. Laying down here, you'll see that I've got a good arch in my neck, that my neck is rounded, it's nowhere near the table. To perform a chin tuck, what you're going to do is keep the back of your head in contact with the table or floor or whatever it is that you're laying on, and then you're just gonna tuck your chin down into your throat. You'll see that when I do that, well, first of all, the, the double chin comes up. The uglier the double chin, the better on this, so don't be self-conscious about that. But you'll see that what we wanna do is flatten our neck down into the table. You're gonna hold that for about a three to five second count, and then come right back up out of it hold and smash, kind of flatten the neck down into the table, tuck the chin down into the throat, hold for a three to five second count, and then come right back out of it. And what you should feel there is actually a good stretch to the base of your skull. If you've got a lot of tension in those muscles, this is one of the best stretches to stretch that out. Hold three to five seconds, and then come right back up out of it. You're gonna perform that about 20 to 30 times, and then you can do that a couple of times a day. Exercise number two, this is going to be a cervical rotation stretch. Probably my second favorite way to get those small muscles stretched out between the chin tucks and this, you're gonna be feeling a lot better. You just need a pillowcase, and now what I've done here is grab opposite corners, make that pillowcase nice and long. You're then going to loop that up and over your head. Try to pull that pillowcase, keep it up. The higher you can keep the pillowcase on your neckline, the higher you're going to feel this stretch. That's where I want the stretch to be, up here nice and high, not down low. Now what we're going to do, we've got the tails hanging down on either side. First step is to cross your arms, and then um, right now I've got my left hand on top of my right. My right hand is going to grab, grab the tail here and hold it tight to my chest. My left hand is going to take that top tail across my cheekbone. So that's across my right cheekbone. Now I'm gonna pull into this rotation motion. So I'm pulling with my left hand until I get a good comfortable stretch right up here high on the right side of my neck. 
You're going to take it to a comfortable range and hold it for 20 seconds, and then you're going to repeat that. You can do it three times over here to the left. And then what I want you to do is cross your hands the other way. So now my left hand stays down here tight to my chest. My right hand comes up and pulls the pillowcase across my left cheekbone, and then I can rotate this way again just until I get a good comfortable stretch at the base of the left side of my skull, kind of high up on the left side of my neck. You're going to hold that one three times for 20 seconds as well, and you can do that two to three times a day. Next, let's get into a stretch for those larger, more postural muscles. The exercise that I love for that would be an upper trapezius stretch or an ear to shoulder stretch. Simply what you're going to do, I'm going to tilt my head over here to the right with my right hand, grab up here to the left side of my head, and then just add a gentle overpressure to that. What I'm going for is a stretch from basically the base of my left ear out to the tip of my left shoulder. That is the course that that upper trapezius muscle runs. You're gonna take that to a comfortable end range, hold it for 20 seconds, and then we can come over here to the right. So my left hand to the top of the right side of my head, and then just pull kind of down my left ear towards my left shoulder until I get a good comfortable stretch through the right side of my upper trapezius here. I'd hold that for 20 seconds, and then I would repeat that three times. So three times, 20 second holds to each direction, and then you can do that one a couple of times throughout your day. The last exercise that you're going to do is geared towards those postural muscles. Uh, no equipment required on this. It's one of my favorites. This is going to be what we call a scap pinch or a scapular pinch or a scapular retraction. All different words for the same thing. This one I like to do in standing. You can also do it seated with your back unsupported. What we're going to do is basically get our hands into this position right here. And then what I want to do, the first movement is to pinch my shoulder blades together. So I'm going to pull my shoulder blades to together, kind of tuck them down and back. I tell people, imagine trying to tuck your shoulder blades into your back pockets. So pinch them together, tuck them down and back as we rotate our hands out to the side. And I'm basically, I'm trying to point my thumbs backwards as far as I can. So I'm going to turn around and show you what that looks like from the back. Talking about my shoulder blades, again, bring them together, pull them down. A lot of times people will get into this position with this one. We want to, again, eliminate tension in your neck. So we do that by pulling the shoulder blades down. Shoulder blades come down and back, pinch them together, and then my thumbs are coming right back towards you guys, right back towards that camera. I'm going to hold one, two, three, and then I'm going to come out of it. I'm going to pinch down and back and hold one, two, three, and come right back out of it. The goal with this is to get out of this position and fix that posture to eliminate tension in the neck. We do that by holding it into this position right here. You're going to repeat that 30 times. So I tell people, you know, three sets of 10 on those scap pinches, and you can do that one a couple of times a day. Great way to improve your posture. Great way to shift more of that load into those postural muscles where it belongs. Now, if you know your posture is bad, and if you know that's one of the main reasons why you're getting these tension headaches, don't worry, I've got you covered. Check out this video right here. That's gonna help you to fix your posture and feel better. If you want more back and postural muscle strengthening, that's the video you want right there. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, hit this circle button right here to do it. I'd love to see you back for future videos. Until next time, we'll see you again here on Tone and Titan.